sigma is equals to n e square tau by m sigma is equals to 1 by rho right n e square tau by m therefore what do we say that is inverted rho is equals to m by n e square into tau what is rho rho is equals to what to say right rho is equals to right rho is equals to r a by l therefore here rho is equals to what to say r a by l is equals to m into e square into tau therefore r is equals to what to say m l by n a right e square into tau therefore r is equals to ml right ml by n a e square into tau what is m mass of the conductor right what is l length of the conductor that is n number of electrons per unit volume of the conductor a is the cross sectional area and e square therefore resistance is inversely proportional to relaxation time therefore resistance is inversely proportional to the relaxation time now here dependence of resistance on its temperature while calculating the formula right j is equals to j is equals to sigma into e sigma into e therefore we know that r is equals to rho into l by a and again we know that i is equals to n a e v d right now i by a i by a n a v d therefore j is equals to n e v d i by a is called current density which is represented by j already we know that drift velocity is equals to what to say a into tau a is equals to acceleration acceleration e e by m actually f is equals to m a right that is m a is equals to e q a is equals to e q by m that is instead of q we can substitute the charge of the electron e therefore e e by m into tau therefore drift velocity drift speed is equals to capital e into small e by m into tau this third equation is substituted in the second equation therefore j n e v d v d is equals to what to say that is e e by m into tau therefore n e square tau by m into e therefore now first equation is compared with the second equation first equation compared with the fourth equation that equals to j is there here is also j e is there here is also e now conductivity sigma is equals to n e square tau by m therefore sigma is equals to n e square tau by m therefore sigma is equals to 1 by reciprocal of the resistivity 1 by rho is equals to n e square by tau by m therefore now here tau is equals to m by e n e square into tau rho is equals to r a by l therefore r is equals to m into l by n a e square tau therefore resistance is inversely proportional to the relaxation time